the Mason Minute with Kevin Mason. It's been all over the news the last couple of days. Pat Sajak finally saying goodbye on Wheel of Fortune. Now, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if he just taped his last show or if he's actually done. And when I turn on the TV on Monday, he won't be there on Wheel of Fortune. But it seems like he's been going away for three, four years. I know it's not been that long. Happens in the music industry, too. Yeah, saying farewell is very tough to do. Elton John's Farewell Yellow Brick Road Tour, I think, lasted five years. Now, part of those years were COVID years, but I know he announced it in, like, 2018 and didn't wrap it up until... I think earlier this year, late last year, the group Alabama, who I was very close with throughout the years, actually worked with some of them after the band was done. I remember when they were saying goodbye, their Farewell America tour, I believe it was called, that they announced and started playing gigs on in 2002, and I think finally wrapped up in 2004. Yeah, almost two years. Then, of course, they went away for 10 years, and they got back together again, at least three of the four. And Teddy and Randy, still going out today as the group Alabama. Saying farewell is tough, but for some it seems impossible. 